Oyama Aisenor is at Black Lives Matter Plaza for the first time since August 2020. He's been avoiding it. Um, one of the things I remember instantly being back here is the sound of like the boots from the officers behind us. And um, given no visual or audio warning about any kind of kettle that's approaching. Eisenhower took some of these photos on his phone and camera just before D.C. police arrested him. They take all of your personal effects. So for me, that's earrings, jewelry, um, bracelet, anything on you, even shoelaces. Those are immediately taken off your person. Um, my camera gear, also my phone. Police seem to believe that if they arrest you, they can take your stuff, your cell phones, which often have your pictures, your messages, the most intimate details of your life, and just hold on to it. ACLU attorney Michael Perloff worked to get Eisenhower's phone back. That's because D.C. prosecutors did not file any charges against Eisenhower, and the vast majority of protesters MPD arrested during Black Lives Matter protests the summer of 2020. Twelve months later, MPD shipped Eisenhower his camera and phone back. But when Eisenhower remotely wiped his phone while it was in police custody, he lost memories that weren't backed up. Photographs from a trip or conversations with old friends. If the police take your phone, you should get a prompt hearing or you can ask for a back. That's what the Constitution requires, but it's not what happens here in D.C. While Eisenhower got his phone back, the ACLU filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of two protesters and three volunteer medics who say MPD confiscated their phones and never gave them back. Jake Oster was one of those medics and believes he knows why MPD seizes cell phones. And I believe that one of those tactics is severing lines of communication. And one of the best ways to do that is to seize phones and hold that as evidence because it is a deterrent for um, us to get back out on the front lines the next day. MPD declined to comment on the lawsuit, only sending us a copy of a 30-year-old policy that doesn't mention anything about holding on to personal devices. These pictures, taken on Eisenhower's camera and cell phone, were locked away in MPD evidence storage for a year. He avoided Black Lives Matter Plaza since August 2020 because of the memories of his arrest, but now reunited with his belongings, he feels reunited with his sense of place. For me, especially having black lineage, I'm, I'm half black. Being out here for a very personal reason not only means being documenting the, the movement of what's happening here, but documenting my own history and my own part of it. At Black Lives Matter Plaza, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.